In this video I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how I turn uh, PDF files into booklets so I can read them on the train, anything I want to do, make notes in the margins, that sort of thing. This is just a simple um, simple booklet be printed on both sides of the page, stapled down the middle and folded in half. Uh, nothing fancy. And I use a free program that I got. Actually, it's a um, it's a program that I have a, a free limited version of it makes a little watermark imprint on the side of your first page after you uh, process a PDF file but um, it works and if you want to upgrade I think it's about 50 bucks to get the uh, the full version but uh, first let's find a file uh, usually I look for something when I do booklets it's usually about 35 or 40 pages um, is the break point before the the book becomes too thick to bind this way so um, I usually look for something 35 pages or less, but that really depends on the thickness of the paper you use. So if you use a um, a thin page, um, a, a lightweight paper, you can get away with more pages than 35, and if you use a heavier paper, you're probably going to be down around 15 or 20 pages um, in your booklet before it gets too fat. So um, I'm going to use just regular bond paper, so anything up to about 35 pages is good. Um, I've got this little short PDF file. Um, that was downloaded from a, a website and we'll use that as our example and so I'm going to right click on it and open it with Qt PDF Pro that's the uh, the software that I downloaded I'll get that to pop open here let me shrink this down so you can see the interface this is going to be a little bit hard to read once it's all shrunk down but I think you'll be able to work it out. Um, Cute PDF Pro is standalone, very easy to use, uh, pretty straightforward. So I will get right to it here. They've got a little booklet uh, icon right up here. So you can see we've got a 15 page um, PDF file. And this is the look for page. You can see it's already got pretty good margins all the way around it. Um, so I will go straight into the booklet tool. And that brings up this pop up window and here's the settings that I use. Um, first thing that I do, especially if there's good margins um, already set on the document, is I set all the margins to zero. You want to do this so that your uh, your um, conversion here doesn't add even more margins, because if there's a margin there already and you've got additional margins set, you may end up with some very small text in the middle of a page with a lot of margin white space around it. The next thing that I tend to do, and this is optional, is um, I turn off the proportionality setting, and then set change the scale to um, specified. And now I'm using American um, page dimensions here, and the uh, the U.S. page dimensions are eight and a half by eleven. So if you turn that sideways and fold it in half, that gives you a five and a half inch page wide by eight and a half inch tall. So I use those settings. Now this may cause, depending on the, the original dimensions of the PDF file, this may cause some stretching um, as the, the document is stretched to fill the page. Whether or not you want to uh, to do this or not is, is uh, purely a judgment call. Sometimes that stretching can be pretty obnoxious and hard, makes the text hard to read. But I prefer that to having a huge chunk of white space at the bottom of the page if uh, the page dimensions don't line up exactly. So um, it's a judgment call, but I tend to use these settings right here. Now the binding type, by default, if you leave it like this, it will create a booklet. So it will it will um, impose the pages, is what uh, printers call it. It will s shuffle the pages around so that when all the pages are stacked together, stapled in the middle and folded in half, everything will read uh, front to back in the right order. You can also um, print out larger books and uh, for that you would use the book setting and when you do that it asks you how many sheets per fold um, so basically you can create what's called a signature which is a group of pages stapled together or bound together down the middle and folded in half um, sometimes I do this and I print one sheet per fold so basically every sheet folds in half and creates four pages um, front to back and then you can stack a whole bunch of those together glue them along the edge and create a book uh, but for our purposes here, we're just going to use the normal binding type, which is going to create a booklet where everything is resorted so that uh, the pages stack up and staple in the middle. And 
Once you've got those settings together, that's basically all there is to it. Just click OK. And in a few seconds here, you see that it's shuffled the pages. Now the page is twice as wide. Um, you can see we've got uh, pretty good dimensions all the way around in the, in the margins. So it's not uh, there's not a lot of extra white space at the bottoms of the pages. Um, another thing you'll notice, it created this watermark right here automatically. And there's the only one, only one thing you can do to get rid of that is to uh, pay for the full upgrade to QPDF. Um, but let's uh, zoom in here just a little bit and see. I'm not sure if there's page numbers on this document. No, there are not. But you can see, if you read through this, the pages have been sorted out so that if you print them front and back on a sheet of paper, um, when you're done, you'll have a stack of pages that can be stapled in the middle and folded in half. And that's really all there is to it. To print it out, just uh, click the File, Print. If you're using a printer like mine where I don't have uh, duplex printing where the printer will automatically do fronts and backs in one pass, um, the way you want to handle it is uh, select print all and then choose odd pages only first. Run that through, flip the stack over, and then select even pages for the second pass and it will basically print the odd pages on one side and the even pages on the other and then you'll have your complete booklet. So that's really all there is to it. Nothing fancy, but uh, a really great way to get ebooks off your computer and into your hand where you can uh, take them away, read them outside, on the bus, on the train, make notes, what have you. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Hope that's uh, a helpful little tip for you. Take care.